guy. He's so cute. I'm gonna destroy them all. Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome to Hardcore Skyblock. I've survived over 3,000 days in my hardcore Minecraft world with every block at my disposal. I'm taking on the challenge to see how long I can survive in the void, where falling off means the end of the series. Before I descend down into the void to find some slimes, I want to check up on a few things first. Like our pointed drifts to farm. It's dripped pointedly. The lava farm has one new bucket, which can go here. <gasps> There's a cat. I really need to start just leaving some fish over there because that is the only place cats spawn. But I think I still have some back in the storage room. Somewhere. Somewhere. We have fish. All right. Where'd the little kitty go? Please don't be in the lava. Kitty? Kitty. Oh no. The cat. It's gone. Did you fall down there, buddy? Where'd you go? You know what? In this case, we're just going to leave the fish there. Because next, I want to grab our iron. Ah, there's another cat. Ah, I need the fish. I shouldn't have left it. Yes, we have a new cat. Yay, come here. You just you just sit right there, okay? But now with all of the iron I have, we can trade this away for even more emeralds as we're going to be needing a lot of these today. Except I only got 60 emeralds from trading with all of the iron traders. Uh, That's not good. Let's see, if I make another smithing table, we've got a new villager over here who's just been hanging out. And if he takes a job, maybe we can get another iron trade. Please, job. Please, job. Please job friend where are you going no 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 we don't need leather workers oh there's so many cauldrons back out this way please go 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 the villager was being extremely dumb but eventually i convinced him into his safety box then fed the villagers and found him a new friend and thankfully both of these new villagers trade iron for emeralds Ooh, that's expensive but it is emeralds and we got a diamond hoe and pretty bad tools at the end that's okay. Actually, I'm gonna need this hoe for the next thing. And a few spruce saplings for ourselves. As the pumpkin farm over here, <laughs> there's floating pumpkins. Uh, it's not going well. It's not going very well at all. Grabbing a little bit more of our moss, we can jump all the way across the skyblock platform to our grasslands area, where I want to create a new extension to build a pumpkin field as I want to use jack-o'-lanterns to light up the slime farm I'm building today. Now, from here, I should just need to plant a spruce sapling in the middle, bone meal it up, and we get podzel. Hang in some free spruce logs. Now from here, if we turn these all into path blocks, I actually missed a few moss blocks at the end here. So another spruce tree it is. Just we ought to fix some accidental pods all over here, but the entire corner is good because we can't turn this directly to farmland, unfortunately. But that's okay. Once it's path blocked, we can turn this to farmland and then it'll just turn itself back into dirt. Actually over here, I do want this to be farmland itself for the pumpkin patch so that's actually fine that it stays farmland now if we take all the pumpkins that i had turn these into pumpkin seeds and we can plant all of our pumpkins in right down here which i think we can do an extra row yeah perfect actually i completely messed this up we can get so many more pumpkins in here there we go that is looking much better now we got a bunch more rows and plenty of pumpkins to be coming soon i'm really enjoying the skyblock grind right now and i'm pretty much out of resources so before we get too far into things today let's chop down the tree farms and that is looking much better on the wood count we can just throw this all into the storage room. A farm I really want to make before we build the slime farm is going to be an amethyst shard farm. Farm, 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 which we have a geode right next to the base. Let's grab some of our cobblestone slabs, oak slabs, and some dark oak. Jumping down to the lower access network we have across the sky, we should be able to get over to the geode. I'm really wishing I had finished this railing at some point because of scared safety is going to come after we have a farm built up to actually get out to should be right over the top of the farm so if we waterlog this we i think can get down to the geode oh, oh, oh no 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 oh, i'm scared and we have touchdown before anything bad happens i'm gonna light this up on top <laughs> look at all the little bees in the void oh poor bees we'll have to save them one day now for the spooky part of i want to get some dark oak placed all the way below the geode okay no drowning no drowning Whew, i hate the void i hate the void and we can use this to create a platform to more safely harvest all of the amethyst no no i'm falling i'm falling no you hate this right here we have the entire platform down at the base let's get some more lanterns down here so it stays a little bit safer speaking of safety i also want to extend out all of our oak slabs here to make the walkway a little bit easier and we've made it all the way to the end where i need something a little bit better than this to get up and down oh my how did you get up here where did this no 
no, no, no. Okay, I need torches immediately. No, thank you. Go. Into the void with you. I was getting resources together. And look who just spawned. Hello. What do you have? Pods. Nothing. You Melons. Do I have melons? I don't. I think I have melons. You have nothing. Bring kelp. I need kelp. Distraction aside, bridge is now safe. And I created a new way to get from the top to the bottom using some water drop shoots to evolve beyond the deadly elevation changing device known as ladders. The upshoot here needs some more water in it, but we do have the drop shoot right over here. Ah, I'm still alive. That's nice. Just to make it super safe, let's put a lamp inside there before a creeper spawns and blows up everything. And then right over here, I'm going to need an infinite water source. As my next step is placing buckets of water going up the entire soul sand water chute. Oh, I can use it to the top. Yes. Okay. This is going to be so much easier to finish now. We just go back down, get our last buckets of water, and up we go. Right. All the way up to the top now, and I can get rid of this disgusting water source. Let's patch up the little holes, and we can extend this out just a bit. I brought some spruce logs down with me that we can turn into slabs, and I'd love to run these around as a bit of a railing. Feeling much safer down here already. Oh, there's glow like in here. Oh, I need shears immediately to get that. Heading back down to the light bulb platform. I'll take that glow like in. And plop a few chests down here for a little bit of storage. From here, I got to work removing all of the polished basalt, calcite, and amethyst blocks trying to keep all of the budding amethyst alive as they're the only ones i have no dang it no okay we're uh, um uh nothing bad happened whatsoever we're just gonna totally ignore that that happened and work on a small excavation platform that we can use to get all the budding amethyst the lower budding amethyst should be accessible from down there then we can come up to this layer and make sure to not cut off any spawn points i think i can access pretty much everything from right here a few extra fences holding this into the ground because you know we really need to obey gravity here in skyblock lands i'm gonna install one more ladder right here here though to get up to the top which we can just jump over here perfect this stuff grows super slowly but once it's ready we can come down here and harvest them and that's silk touch okay well you know the first crystal and i guess that's an amethyst geode farm skyblock edition that ah, really does look like a light bulb look at that we can put the two crystals out in the front here just because i think they're gonna look neat yeah i like that and the glow lichen's gonna go in here until i build a farm for it because yeah i'm not wasting that definitely not wasting that well the crystals grow up a bit further i have some chores that need doing around the base first up the dripstone farm which actually five of them have grown died six that's a new record really kicking into gear here we're on to the second row but uh apparently if i remove these slabs it uh one ruins the aesthetic but it does make the farm faster which is which is good I do want these slabs to just come back here eventually. So once the farm's filled out, I'm going to put them back in so they can go right next to it for now. We can remove the cobblestone over here. Those blocking our villager from becoming a lava worker and grab some buckets of lava to extend this farm out. We're going to have to start bringing dripstone down here soon as the first row of lava is already almost done too. And I need more cauldrons. Now for the slime farm, we're going to need a ton of glass, which means we need a lot of emeralds. And that's where all this iron's going to come in. I really need to focus on getting some better ways to get emeralds in the future but for now this is as good as we've got currently a full day of trading turns into just under two and a half stacks of emeralds now if we go to the librarians we can turn this into a ton of glass well uh, nearly four stacks of glass but i still got emeralds left so it's uh it's grind time this double iron farm thing was such a smart idea i just refilled again look how much we got and it's almost trading time come on it's morning let me trade. What are these healthy working hours? I know nothing about that as a YouTuber. Come on now. It's only been like five minutes, but you know, finally it's trading time. Oh, that's a cat in front of a village. Where's my fish? All right, I think the cat is in here. Ah, there's a cat. Uh, yes, we got another kitty. And back to the emerald grind. Next day of trading is done and we've got a good amount of glass going and we're almost out of iron. Well, all the farms fill back up on materials and the boys decide they want to keep trading with me. I need a lot of stone because cobblestone is so early game and uh, I should probably use something else as the comments are starting to get a little mad at me. So stone's going to be a great replacement. I was just attacked by a zombie. I don't know. Oh, where are you coming from? Why? How were you spawning down? here i was idly scrolling on the internet and i it's a good thing it was only a zombie where are they oh 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 i see i see you're coming from over here you alone nobody else right soul soil spawnable there's a creeper in my warts there's a creeper in my warts why are you dodging 
Okay. There's no longer a creeper in my wards. We're just going to add in a few lights around. That should keep me safe. That would have been a really sad way to lose this world. There's no footage. Just cutting back in and say, uh, creeper killed me. Now for the most important step on today's project, finding a slime chunk. For this, I need to go all the way to the bottom of the world. The easiest way to do this is going to require a bucket of lava and a water bucket. Let's grab some of the stone we mined. And I think for now, right off the center of this is going to be a good place to send our pillar down. And I just need to wait for the lava to go all the way down to the edge of the world. Right, that should be about all the way down. Now, if I place some water right here, we should get cobblestone going the entire way. And I want that lava back. From here, let's take a bunch of our planks, craft those into sticks to make the death-defying ladders. Well, actually, they cause death. They don't really defy death, but the, you get the point. I also really hate the cobblestone pillars that go all the way down to the bottom of the world, so let's get some glass. Now for the thing in Skyblock that I always hate so much. We have to go down to the bottom of the world. My voice is getting really high-pitched because I'm terrified. Oh, it goes into the negative right okay so we're just gonna stop here at zero and create a little safety box with our ladders this is not safe i'm terrified oh, oh no 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 terrified ladder right there to keep us safe and from here we just need to go all the way no no i actually don't want to do this okay let's go up without the ladders grab the water and just ride it back down uh, careful nope you know I'm just gonna swim down. I'm just gonna swim down. It's faster and I'll get on my ladders. I'm in my safety water and nothing can hurt me. Any day now, this water is gonna get to the bottom. Any, any day now. And there goes my safety water. Oh, goodbye guys. Just in case, we're gonna put one again right there. For the next step, I wanna go back up where we had this cobblestone pillar using our glass blocks and placing ladders on the side as we go. Here we are all the way up at the top. Still horrifying. We're going to just put a little safety point right there. Slimes have the ability to spawn in specific chunks below Y40. So I started by mapping out a large area along the chunk borders to see if I could catch a slime spawning. I'm still a little close to the center here. So unfortunately, all the mob cap is taken up by mobs up there. So hopefully if I move all the way out to these outer platforms, they'll be far enough away that we can see a slime spawning down below. Okay, are we getting any luck on slimes? All of those chunks? That's... That's 16 chunks right there. Okay, yep. Uh, still no slime spawning. And that is the only place in the world that can spawn mobs. I guess I need more stone. Back to the stone farm I go. Got some more stone and let's try this. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Big nope. There are creepers down there. We'll come back in a minute. Daytime now, but unfortunately, they're still down here. And he's no longer down here. He's very, very far down. Oh, there's skeletons. I need to get rid of these immediately. And the zombie. Goodbye. Right, I'm gonna throw some torches on this end because they are underneath the buildings, meaning mobs will continue to spawn. If only they were slimes. I've never been so aware of how much I just want to stretch out my arm right now and go like that direction, you know? <laughs> oh, I hate being down on the one block areas. Right, well, let's move farther away from our base so that we're not taking any spawns away from the current mob farm. And we can turn on chunk borders with F3G on Java and keep moving. I'm at negative one right now. Slimes can spawn at negative numbers, right? Right? We're gonna hope. We're, we're, we're gonna hope they do. Yeah, yes, yes they do, yes they do. Ah, that's a slime chunk over there. I'd love to see if we can find a double slime chunk though. So I'm gonna keep moving around and placing in some more of these stone blocks. We know a slime will spawn somewhere around here, but I would really prefer if we get something out there. So let's see if we go up above and some will spawn. I'm, for safety purposes, I'm doing this. I, I need this. Please have some slimes. Please have some slimes. We had one. We did. We definitely had one right over there. Can we get some more? I think it up a lot of the cobblestone lines and I did see a slime spawn like somewhere around here. I'm just not sure which chunk it is. And I'm still hoping. Acquired some more stone over here. And maybe if we jump down, they seem to be spawning when I'm a little closer. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that's terrifying. Don't do that. I think we have a potential right in here. So I'm going to thicken this corner up to see if we maybe can get an actual slime spawn. This is a lot more difficult than I expected it to be in Skyblock. You'd think mobs are just spawning everywhere. They could only spawn here. That's turned off. That's turned off. Why aren't there any mobs? My quest to find the slime chunk continued. So I decided to thicken up all of the lines to hopefully create some more spawning squares when we're moving around. Oh, there's a slime. Oh, right there. Oh my gosh. 
It is a slime chunk. You know what? I don't even think we're going to go for the double chunk. We're just doing that because it works. You want to jump into the void so I don't die fighting you? Yay, thank you. Okay, to mark the slime chunk, let's do this. And from there, I place some stone blocks going around the entirety of the chunk. Never mind, I am out of stone. Now, the slime chunk is very far from my base, but that's not really a bad thing, as we won't be fighting with mob cap on the original mob farm. Now, step one of building the slime farm, I need a lot of stone, which of course means more time breaking stuff at the stone farm. Just gonna repair up this pickaxe real quick since we're here. Or there's no mobs. Ah, this is close enough. But we've got tons of stone. Next up, I need jack-o'-lanterns, which as a first step is going to require some charcoal and sticks to make torches. Grabbing a pair of shears, we can run over to the new pumpkin patch and turn these all into carved pumpkins. As I need to gather all of these up to turn them into jack-o'-lanterns. I'm not quite sure how many I'm going to need, but I would love to get a stack of jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, we have pumpkins at the pumpkin farm. Right, the automatic farm that I made for automatically getting pumpkins automatically and there's a pumpkin on the back of the automatic pumpkin farm yeah i see why i don't use this that much and now it's time for a bunch of car pumpkins there we go full stack of jack-o'-lanterns apparently it's halloween in may halloween in may that's great. I've got a ton of building materials on me, so hopefully we can figure out a decent slime farm with this. I'm just kind of winging it. Step one, we need to stop other mobs from spawning, which is where the jack-o'-lanterns come in. I think if we put them going diagonal, one, two, three, four, and then do this, that should be enough to keep this whole chunk fully lit. Now for the next daring part, I actually need to come down one, two, three, and a fourth block right there. Now, if we very precariously stand above the void, I need to create some water channels here that are gonna go all the way around and we can use this to move our slimes. For now, we're just gonna fill in this entire side here with all of our glass. Laying our first few water buckets down, we can create our infinite water source to use later. And then from here, we just bring in a few more signs and do another set of water sources right above. We're gonna be careful, don't push me off. Now we got a little way to get out of there and we're gonna pin some iron golems right over in here. The mobs will go down that way, and my plan is to shoot them up to the surface. Why? Because it's fun. No! Geldens, get out of here! That was almost terrible. Well, I have run out of stone, but we've got a few layers up here and a lot of mobs around. Oh no. Morning is nearly here, but I've got to be very careful. We're going to wait for all of them to burn and, uh, oh no, I only have 30 arrows. Oh, this is, uh, this is not going to be good. All right, we got to get rid of all the skeletons and I'm a little worried about what's below me. They're all standing directly under the pathway they're not gonna burn are they oh no Ooh, they're despawning though that's good that's good i'm gonna knock you off no oh, come on now oh i hate this okay. no 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 i made a huge mistake i made a huge mistake I made a huge... i'm hitting with the water bucket my mouse has stopped working. This is not good. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, mouse is working again. Oh, okay. That was really bad. <laughs> hey, free bones. We're just gonna leave them over there. And I am getting the heck out of here, but first, maybe a few torches. That should keep things a little safer. Next, I'm gonna need a lot more stone to finish this off. So we're back on the grind. I'm gonna be smart this time and uh, bring a bed with me because uh, it's nighttime again. Grind time is also done and we've got ourselves tons of stone. This hopefully is more than I need. Oh, wow. Y'all were right. This thing is so much faster now. Quick distraction while we clean these up and move them around. There we go. It is completely filled out, which means we can start filling up more of the lava farm. That makes me very happy. Back down at the slime farm, I was able to finish laying down all of the stone layers for the remaining bits of the farm. I almost made it all the way up to our platform, but we are at Y39 right now, and slimes can only spawn to 40 right there, so no need for a new layer. But I need to get down professional skyblock has really taught me how to land some good water buckets i will say that i appreciate this game mode for that much now slimy boys you still have a Ooh, there's a big one Ooh, no thank you also made me really really terrified of every mob ever we're just gonna get rid of you to finish off the farm technically we need iron golems along this entire wall here going all the way up but 
I want to get the killing chamber done before I get overwhelmed with slimes. Remember when I said I really want to bring the slimes up to the surface? Well, I really want to do that, which means I need a tube to shoot them all the way up here to this layer. And that means I need a lot of glass. And I actually have a good amount of here already, but let's trade for a little bit more with our librarian villagers. Now, because this is a slime farm after all, and I do have our blue cactus farm, let's grab some cactus and make some dye. Now we're really sky blocking as I can grab lava from my lava farm and use that as fuel for all of the cactus. Now, for me, when I think of slimes, I actually think of lime dye instead of green. So we're going to do that and dye all of this glass right here to our lime. Now for the terrifying part, I need to build a tube from there to the top while all the slimes are coming down to the end. Oh, this is... Yeah, just keep going off the backside. That would be great. Goodbye. Oh, he's gone. I'm just going to get rid of the big boy for now. Uh, Yeah, goodbye, everybody. I don't want to get knocked into the void. I am so terrified right now. Okay, let's just get to the end. And we're just going to move ourselves out this way a little bit. No, the little one. I'm so scared. I've never been so tense playing Skyblock. Nope, big boy, no. You will knock me off instantly. Here we can start our little soul sand base. That's going to be going for the pillar all the way up. And then we need lime glass going around everything. For now, there's no way to fall off. Oh, I feel a lot better. I forgot the wood. I forgot this. I put the spruce back in the chest other way over there. Okay. Well, we have to come back anyways. Spruce signs have been acquired and we'll add in this last water trench soon. But for now, I need to get our big tube moving all the way up to the top so we can fill in these signs and start filling in the water. I got into a really good rhythm here, moving up towards the surface, placing in the layers of glass and extending the water layer up as well so I could complete both parts at once. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh, it just almost died. We're just going to get rid of them. Nobody comes up the pillar right now. Hi, little guy. Yeah, you're trying to kill me too, aren't you? No, thank you. I should have blocked up the bottom. Somehow I've survived and made it up to the top where I've added in a glass top so that we don't get uh, any more of them popping out here. Let's bring this up another three blocks. Ah, that would have tried to kill me. Please don't be able to hit me through here. Thank you. And now we need to come out this direction a bit. Hopefully I have enough glass to finish this off. Perfect. Okay, we need to kill a slime. Yeah, he just died. Great. No, we need to build a collection system right below here. And I need to get off this first, please, for safety. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that didn't work at all. It's fine. Next, grabbing a few more emeralds as we're gonna need a lot more glass, which we can dye to green glass this time. And I wanna use our soul campfires in order to kill the slimes. Now for the painful part, as I need to craft a bunch of chests and a bunch of hoppers. I really gotta connect it up here. I went the wrong way. My base is a maze. My base is an absolute maze. It looks pretty cool though, I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. Moving on to building the collection area, we're gonna have to drop it down just a touch so that the slimes fall in and they can't jump jump back out. I think for the base platform here, we're gonna do it out of some brick slabs just to break it up. Killing chamber is gonna drop down right about to here and we can hook up some double chests for collection art over here because I don't need that much. So anything overflowing this should be fine to get rid of. Then from here, we just run hoppers going all the way across. Bring these glass walls up just a touch before I kill my frames with 25 campfires. Now, if I bring the glass all the way up to here, this should stop the slimes from being able to jump out. Now, hopefully if I put the water back in here, that will be enough to drop people down in. Ooh, it's a little too much. For a temporary fix here, let's just bring out a few more of our signs and it's gonna look really ugly, but that'll work. <laughs> oh no. And there go the slimes. There they go, falling into the pit. Into the fire, into the fire with you. Oh no, they're bouncing on the glass I put in to get up here. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh. Okay, all slimes have now perished and we have successfully made it off. Now we got a little bit more of a safer platform around here. And I'm thinking from there, just to get some more color into the builds that we're doing, let's bring our dripstone back in here. Then on top of that, we can put in a few polished diorite slabs and a lantern on each corner. All of our campfires in the middle should keep the rest of it safe. And now we need to finish the farm down underneath. Next up, we need a few more buckets of water and a trip back to the pumpkin farm as I need some carved pumpkins. 12 should be more than we need. Back down we go. <laughs> I barely got that one. Oh, I was trying to make a fun clip and I almost killed myself. Nice. 
Looks like all the slimes are gone for now. So I should be able to do this super quick. Get our signs in place like this. And then a water bucket there. Temporary walls here. And water bucket there. Goodbye walls. That should work to get all the slimes moving up into the pillar. Now we need to convince them to get into the water stream, which is where our iron golems are going to come in. I should be able to build a golem here. Oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> Okay, maybe we build the iron golem a little bit farther back. First golem can go right here, and hopefully nobody's going to be able to touch him. And then we need to go up a few more blocks here, and we're just pilling around with our glass. He's going to get the first two layers, and I think we can put the second one right about here. We'll add more if we need them. There goes number two. And there's the last golem in a box. How do I get down? Ooh, okay, we're just gonna ride this. It's gonna be okay. I hate everything, but it's working. I hate everything, but we're working. It's fine. I think one more thing that might help. I'm a little worried about the slimes staying aggroed and not moving in like these guys are right here. So if we build this up, it might cut the vision. Looks like it worked. All the slimes are up the chute. Please don't be able to hurt anybody. Okay, all right, this... It works. It's fine. The golems are pushing them back in. This is great. <laughs> uh, no problems at all here, right? Yeah, definitely not. With the golems in and the farm is finished. So I grabbed my working pickaxe and removed all of the extra stones so we can clean up the space a bit more. Running into a few issues here with the slimes, you know, trying to attack the golems, but so far nobody's died. And I have been seeing plenty of slimes going up the chute. So hopefully we've got a lot of slime too. In the time it took to remove everything from down below, we have over nine stacks of slime balls. That is amazing. We're really close right here. <gasps> a slime just fell. I wonder if I add another iron golem up here it'll encourage them to come out of the tunnel faster i have the materials it's only gonna make it a tiny bit faster but it could just be kind of fun oh yeah look at them coming out now they're running out of the tube oh, i love this and just like that the slime farm is working really well and i love the extra element of bringing them up to the surface might not be the most efficient but it's for fun uh just like we'll fix up the underbelly soon but that's it for today leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't and i'll catch y'all on the flip side look at the little slimes back there oh, i love them